When the earthquake hit, the reactors uh, at Fukushima were able to shut down. Uh, they call it a scram. They were able to shut down. The control rods are inserted, so it suppresses the, the nuclear reactions, shuts it down. However, in a reactor core, heat is still generated, and it's a significant amount. It's about 7% of the full power of a, of a reactor, 5 or 7%. So you must remove that heat. Well, there are cooling systems to do that. Unfortunately, the quake also took out power. So there are backup generators, diesel generators. In fact, they have two. Unfortunately, the tsunami washed those out. They had seawalls at Fu Fukushima to protect the generators. They were built for, I think, six and a half meters, is what I understand, and the tsunami was just over seven, seven, eight. So it overdid, oh, went over the seawalls and washed those out. So now you're in what's called a station blackout, which is the worst situation you can be. You've got absolutely no power. And this is what's led to then um, the overheating in the core. So the water uh, gets very hot. It'll start to boil and turn to steam. Um, the water reacts with the zirconium liner on the fuel rods and uh, produces hydrogen. And the hydrogen uh, is mixed in with the steam. The pressure is building and they can't remove that heat because the cooling systems are out. So uh, we've heard about the hydrogen explosion at Unit 1 and about 11 o'clock last night, Unit 3. And uh, the, this is because they had to vent the primary containment to keep the pressure down, vented it in the secondary containment, and something triggered the explosion which, which blew out the walls of that containment, which actually is what it was designed to do um, because you don't want, you don't want that shock wave um, compressing on the primary containment. From what we've been told, the primary containment and the pressure vessel are, are intact. The primary containment's quite thick. It's about 15 to 30 inches of concrete. Of course, inside that is the steel pressure vessels, which is also <clears throat> about eight inches in, in thickness. So, from what we know, those are still intact. But because some steam was vented, there have been some radioactive releases. There are filters that are catching particulates, but there are fission products that are in the form of gases, and those are harder to catch. So there have been some releases, and the levels on site have risen. Um, again, our information to date is that the public, uh, the immediate public is not in a lot of danger thus far. The levels are not that high. Um, but the Japanese government's taking the precaution of evacuating, which is a smart thing to do.